Alright, so welcome back. I've had a couple of questions lately regarding Source SDK, how it works, what do you use it for, and etc, etc. So today I was going to go over, you know, the basics of Source SDK, what do you use it for, how do you use it, you know. I mean, if you, if you saw the world model tutorial, you have some idea of how it works, but there are more things you can use it for. Which is really nice. So, the one thing I forgot to say is how to install Source SDK. So, here you would go to a library and you would go to Tools. And under here, you want to install this one right here. 2006 and 2007 aren't really important. I mean, I think they're just test beds or whatever. I don't even know, to be honest. But that's the one you need to install. So, let me launch it really quick. Right here. And this is what you'll be greeted with. So, right here. These are the engine versions. They don't really do much, to be honest. I find 2006 is deathmatch. Everything's been updated from 07 to MP. And, you know, you can set this to be whatever directory you want. So say you want to access Team Fortress 2 models or anything like that, you know, you can access them from that game. I mean, I have all my stuff in Counter-Strike, so I keep all my stuff there, and that's what I use all the time. Now, the main tool I'll be talking about today is Model Viewer, which is really nice. So, I just opened it up. Alright, so right here, you know, if you want to load any model, you just go to File, Load Model. And um, you see you have all the default models, you know, and all that stuff. And let me go here. Actually, let me just go offline and screw it. All right. Anyways, you have all these default models right here. Simple as that. You also have default weapons. So you can kind of get an idea of how they all work. So I'm just going to pick the AK-47. All right, so you see right here, I'm holding down left mouse button. If it's green like this, it will rotate it like this if, when you hold down the left mouse button. You're able to go up, down, left, right. Now, if you have it outside of that circle where it's yellow, you will rotate it. Simple as that. Yeah. That's basically how to get around and move around. Right click with inside the circle will zoom you in and out. Right click on the outside of the circle will, I guess, do the same thing. So, that's all said and done. I'll go through all these little things. So, you have the little choices of wireframe, smooth shaded, textured, you know, bone weights, which I never use. Bad vertex data, I don't even know what that is. To be honest, I don't ever use it. So, alright, so I'm just going to go to um, the one I usually use, which is textured. Alright, so right here, normal maps. You're able to turn on and off, you know, the shading, textures and stuff. Attachments, that will give you the shell eject and muzzle flash I was talking about. Bones, that gives you all the hand bones, the model bones. All the things like that. Each, basically, with view models, each of these fingers, each piece of the fingers is controlled by a bone that allows it to rotate, move around, whatever. And the weapon has all of its specific bones, like bolt, magazine, you know, trigger, normals, you know, tangent, wireframe again, wireframe on top of the texture, so that's good. Now, the field of view. Oh, let's see what that does. It's lighting. All right, field of view you don't really mess around with, you know, unless you go to this where you go to view. No, sorry, you go to view model mode right here, and this will give you what you're seeing in game. So right here, I can set this to whatever I want. You know, usually I think it's at 70 for CSS. I don't even know, to be honest, but. Is where you can set your view model. 
I accidentally did that. Uh, if that ever happens, just go back to that and it will fix it. So you can get things like um, backgrounds, shit like that. Hitboxes, you don't really need that stuff. You know, just messing around with these. Alright, one other thing is a loom position. That's usually a view model thing so that if you walk into somewhere, that's that will enable or disable shadows on the weapon. So, alright, so sequences. This is one thing you'll be messing with, especially if you have custom models. Alright, so you have all these right here, which are very limited compared to what I got because it's a CSS model and this is why I hate them. You only have draw, fire, you know, fire one, fire two, fire three, idle, and reload, which is very boring. So, if you want to see something that you can actually use in game, the things that are ActVM go to here, show actives. And that will show you all the ones that you have, like draw, idle, and primary attack. All right. You're also able to blend animations. So if you want to blend, blend primary attack and reload, you can do it. And it looks very creepy. But it does work. So if you want to do reload and draw, uh, weird as well. But you get the idea. Alright. Also, right here, this will control how fast or slow it goes. Like the animation goes. So you want to say you want to slow this down to look at something. Say that, you know, something's incorrect with the way he puts in the magazine. You're able to look at that using this. Alright. So, model, flex, physics, bones, attachments. Attachments we already went over in the last video. There's a muzzle flash attach attachment. There's the shell eject one. And IK events. I mean, this is basically about it. Now, I'll sh go ahead and show you some other things, like um, world models. I already showed you that. But, this is to give you an idea what you're dealing with. There's the basic world model. Same things apply, texture, wireframe, things like that. You don't really have one on here, it's not really needed. But, you know, other things like that. See, there's only one sequence for world models because you don't really have any animations for them. You know, muzzle flash attachment, all that good stuff. But there is one thing that is different with world models, and that's having a physics model, which you can check this box. This allows your weapon to actually not fall to the ground when you spawn it. And this is quite important. This is what I was talking about when you compiled it, and I had you had to overwrite the physics model with another one of these weapons. It's because it made this right here in red. And um, that's really something special that view models don't really have. To be kind of exact, but... Um, yeah. Something like that. Oh, no, yeah, the bones. There's some bones right there. You know, for the hold type and everything. So, um, now I'm just going to load one of my models to show you how they are. Pretty interesting. Alright, there is one thing I haven't gone over yet, and that is, how do you get models in? And how do you get textures on them? So to do that, you simply go to where I go to. Hold on. Is I go to my Counter Strike source folder, C Strike Models. I put my models in this folder right here. If it's not there, just make it. No big deal. Same thing with materials. Your materials section. Just copy that over. Paste that into materials, models. You know, weapons, few models. You know, you get the idea it'll go to that directory and that's how you can get all that stuff in here and get it to all look nice so I'm gonna set that to how it is in the game 75 um, 
give you an idea. Let me sh turn off that. All right. So, um, with mine, you can see that I have a lot more animations, and then I have a lot more weird act VMs. See, these are all custom ones. You can use these, but you usually don't find them originally in um, the models, unless they're custom made like this one. So, um, kind of using this will give you an idea of how to put in the correct code so you can use it, like, you know, reload, reload empty, deploy, and this one's just different versions of it, like load, unload, stuff like that. So I can just go through them all. Melee animation that I haven't used yet. Idle, idle empty. So you can see, yeah, you try to find one with a lot of animations to it. Oh, that looks weird. And you can also slow everything down, you know. So you get the idea. Pretty cool. Alright. So that is all I can think of with this, other than um, I already showed you how to load weapon, unload weapon in a regular model, stuff like that. Um, show hidden. There isn't really any hidden ones, so. Yeah, that's it. So. I shall see you in the next video. Rate, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and that will do it for today.